Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we will see when we edit these existing files. So far, what we have done is we have only added the new files. In the last tutorial, we have added two files and then we committed those changes. In this tutorial, we will see if we just edit these files instead of adding new ones, how we're going to go ahead and do the commit and how we're going to add them to the tracking because since they're already added to the track, how is it different? There's not much difference when you edit a file as compared to when you add a new file. Let's see. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and change all these three files. First change that I will do is in the index.html file. I'm going to add a heading here, an h2 tag here, and then I'll call it as navigation. And Close this closing tag here, H2. And then inside of this, I'm going to have a list of, I'm going to create an unordered list here. And inside of this unordered list, I'm going to go ahead and list down my two pages that I have created. So I'm going to create a link of two pages. So the first link would be, I'm going to appear in two different colors here. One would be, in the blue color so and the other one that I want to do the first would be called as it will be an anchor tag here I'm going to link it to the orange dot of HTML and then it will say the link that will appear will be the orange page and you're going to go ahead and close this anchor tag similarly I'm going to go ahead and create another list another list here and instead here I'm going to go ahead and change the color scheme to orange or sorry to blue and then I will name it as the blue.html and then I'm going to go ahead and say the blue page. So now these are my two pages that I have created. Now if you want to run these two pages you go ahead and navigate back to your folder where you have created. It's under the desktop and uh, my git repo. If you wanted to go ahead, it's already open. Let's just refresh the page and it'll give you two links, the orange page and the blue page. If you click on this, it'll take you to the orange page. And if you just go back and click on the blue page, it'll take you to the blue page. So now this index.html has two has changes which has navigation window here heading and it has two uh, links to two different pages now how what we have changed in the orange html you can just go ahead from orange html i'm going to go ahead and add this line here which will take me to the index page so here we can go ahead and add a paragraph line here and which is basically nothing but consists of a link also you can go ahead and say a href and what will it do it will take you back to the index page and then return to home page so now this is what you have done so now if you go back to this in the same piece of code i'm going to write under the blue html as well so i'm going to go ahead and paste it here so now if you go back here to the blue page you will see there is a link got added which takes you to back to the index page if you are in the orange page you will see that the same link got added and it will take you to the index page so now this is the changes we have done now if you go back to your to your uh, bash window and if you just look at the status of the repository it now it will not say that they are untracked files or anything like that the files have been tracked but there is changes in the file now do you want to push these changes to the repository so first thing that you need to do is you need to first go ahead and add all these three files and then we're going to go ahead and commit it so first thing we're going to do is git add and then we're going to use dot so all these three files will get added again and now if you go ahead and look at the status at this time it will say you need to commit these changes again so no matter if it's a new file or no matter if you have added the existing file you still need to do add as well as commit again now if i'm going to go ahead and say git commit and this time i'm going to put a message here and the message can be whatever you want to display here you can say i have added the navigation links so i have added the navigation links here now if you're going to do that this is one thing get, get add the navigation links so now it's going to go ahead and do the it has added the three files have been changed now if this time if you look at the git status now both this repository 
and your working directory both are in sync so it's going to say everything is clean if you look at the log here then what you're going to do is you're going to see all the commits that you have done now you have three commits one is the index one then the blue and orange pages that we added and now we have added the navigation links so we're going to go ahead and make the skin uh, clear now if you want this the short description or a one liners then there is a there is a parameter to do that we can say git log and then you can pass this option of one line so now what will it do it will only give you those commits that you did and there is a number to the every commit and i'll talk about what this number specify in the next tutorial but instead of getting this long message that the git log command does with all this information of author and um, the commit number etc etc if you just want a one liner you can always go ahead and do git log dash dash one line and it will give you all the commits that you have done for all these uh, all, all the files now if you are only interested in one particular file you can always go ahead and specify that particular file name so if you only interested in the index.html commit then you just specify git log index.html and it will only give you that okay there is only whatever the commit that you have done for the, that particular file so since we have changed the first commit for the in index file and in the navigation links also we have changed the index file that's why now if you go back and just specify the other file name so i'll say git log of only give me for blue.html so now it will only give you two commits because blue.html is involved in the navigation link and in the previous one where we have added that file or created the brand new file so you'll see only two of these commits have been shown to you so there are multiple commands here you need to play around and they are very simple and as we go along with this tutorial the complexity is going to increase but i'll request you to just follow up with me step by step